Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about an important topic for those who are in Canada, as well as those who are aspiring to immigrate to Canada. We will be talking about the seven types of visas in Canada, its eligibility requirements, as well as the price and processing time of these visas. But before we go ahead, we would like you to know that we make such videos on a daily basis, so it will be wonderful if you just subscribe to our channel. There are seven different types of visa to enter Canada with from any country in the world, and each one has its own set of eligibility requirements and fees. Depending on the situation of the applicant and their reason for wanting to visit Canada, they will need to apply for a specific type of visa. Firstly, who needs a visa to enter Canada? Citizens of certain countries can travel to Canada without a visa, but citizens of many other countries require a visa in order to enter. For a full list of which countries don't need a visa, visit the Canadian government website. The seven different types of visa in Canada. Depending on the situation of the applicant and their reason for wanting to visit Canada, they will need to apply for a specific type of visa. Now, let's explore the types of visa to enter Canada if you intend to visit a Canadian city this year or in the near future. 1. Tourist visa. If you're planning on traveling to Canada as a tourist, you will need to apply for a visitor visa. You can apply for this visa if you intend to visit Canada temporarily, and you meet the eligibility requirements. Requirements for Canada Tourist Visa The application process is fairly straightforward. In addition to providing personal documents such as your passport or travel document, you'll need a letter of invitation from someone who lives in Canada. The average processing time for a visitor visa is 20 days, but it can take as long as 3 months if you're from a country that requires biometrics or other special considerations. 2. Work Visa If you want to work in Canada, you can apply for a work visa along with a work permit. To qualify for this type of visa, your employer must first offer you a job and then complete the necessary paperwork before applying on your behalf. To be eligible for a working permit in Canada, there are a few requirements that you must meet. 1. You must have a job offer from a Canadian employer. 2. The job offer must be in an occupation that is listed as skill level A, B, or 0 in the National Occupational Classification NOC. 3. You will also need to provide a valid passport as well as the proof of your offer for employment from a Canadian employer. Canada Work Visa Fee is $155 Canadian dollars, and the average processing time for Canada Work Visa is 20 days, but it can take as long as 3 months if you're from a country that requires biometrics or other special considerations. 3. Study Visa Our number 3 in the list of type of visa to enter Canada is the student's visa. If you want to study in Canada, you'll need a student visa along with your study permit. To qualify for this type of visa, the school or university that you intend to attend must first accept your application and then complete the necessary paperwork before applying on your behalf. In order to be eligible for a study visa in Canada, you must meet the following requirements. 1. You must have been accepted by a Canadian school or university. 2. Must prove that you have enough money to cover your expenses while you're in Canada. 3. You will also need to provide a valid passport, proof of your acceptance from a Canadian school as well as proof of sufficient funds to cover your expenses while you're in Canada. Study visa fee is 150 Canadian dollars, and the average processing time for a student visa is 20 days, but it can take up to 4 months if you're from a country that requires biometrics or other special considerations. 4. Permanent Resident Visa If you want to become a permanent resident of Canada, you can apply for one of the many permanent residence visas. There are a few different types of permanent resident visas available so be sure to carefully read the eligibility requirements and application process for the visa that best suits your needs. To find more about this, there is a link in the description that will direct you to our website. 5. Super Visa The Super Visa is a temporary resident visa that allows parents and grandparents of Canadian citizens or permanent residents to stay in Canada for up to two years at a time. The Super Visa was created to help reunite families and provide an alternative to permanent immigration for those who wish to visit Canada on more than one occasion but may not be eligible to apply for permanent residence. In order to be eligible for a Super Visa, you must meet the following requirements. 1. You are a parent or grandparent of Canadian citizen or permanent resident. 2. You must have been found admissible to Canada. 3. You must meet the required medical and security conditions. Super visa fee is 100 Canadian dollars, and the average processing time for a super visa is 20 days, but it can take up to 6 months if you're from a country that requires biometrics or other special considerations. 6. Business visa. If you want to conduct business in Canada, you'll need a business visa. 
This type of visa is for people who are not permanent residents or citizens of Canada and who want to come to Canada for the purpose of conducting business activities such as attending meetings, negotiating contracts, attending programs in short courses or investing in a business. In order to be eligible for a business visa, you must meet the following requirements. 1. You must have been invited by a Canadian company or organization to conduct business in Canada. 2. Must show that you have enough money to cover your expenses while you're in Canada. 3. You'll need to provide a valid passport, as well as a proof of your invitation from a Canadian company or organization. Business visa fee is 100 CAD and the average processing time for a business visa is 20 days, but it can take quite longer than that depending on your country of origin and how many documents you need to include with your application. 7. Express Entry Program Visas The last and often most wanted type of visa to enter Canada is the Permanent Residency Visa. The Express Entry Program is a selection system used by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, to select candidates for immigration to Canada who are skilled workers. Those eligible can create an online profile in the system where they will be ranked according to various factors. The top-ranked profiles may then receive an invitation to apply for permanent residence. There are a few different types of express entry visas, so be sure to carefully read the eligibility requirements and application process for the visa that best suits your needs. If you want to apply for any of these visas from any country, there is a link to a video that shows you how to do so. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel to help us grow.